Hello and welcome back. This is video number two. Let's jump on in. This is going to be why teaser videos. So to make sure that we are on the same page, I want to talk about the differences between a teaser video and a full blown sales video, or in other words, a video sales letter. And the reason why I want to do this is simply because it's very easy to confuse the two because the end goal is very similar, which is to get people to buy. But I want to make sure that you understand the differences so that you realize that the teaser video is actually much more easier to create. So let's talk about a video sales letter first. A video sales letter has a lot more of moving pieces. Remember, you got a headline, you got a sub headline, you have the introduction, you, you need social proof, you need testimonials, you need to talk about the product. There's a whole bunch of stuff you need to talk about. So a video sales letter normally takes anywhere from a couple days, a few weeks, or even a month to create. In other words, the major downside is it's going to take a lot of time. And the downside of this is that most people really never get their video sales letter creator, or if they do, it just doesn't really convert. So that's one big problem that we have seen over the last couple of decades. So we really want you to be able to take action really quickly, not get overwhelmed and get something out there. So imagine basically taking a full sales letter and putting it into a video. So as you can imagine, creating a full sales letter takes a lot of time and there's a lot more moving pieces. So what I've realized is the biggest reason for failure in the online business industry or anywhere else is not taking action. Now, that's not to say that you did anything wrong. It's just merely to say that it takes longer. So the major goal of this video course is to help you take action without getting overwhelmed and being able to go from A to Z instead of taking maybe a month or a few weeks, rather taking a day or a few hours or even a couple days. Make sense? So make sure that you don't overthink this process. You simply want to follow me step by step. I've laid out this whole video course in a step by step process. So don't skip around. Don't go to video eight, nine, back to three and all that. Make sure you start with this video and you move to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the rest of the videos. So after time and time again, many people have asked, how do you build an email list? lead magnet or something that you can give away for free in order to get somebody on your list with the ultimate intention of selling a video course. So you got to realize nowadays it's actually very hard to sell something right then and there because most people are skeptical. Most people don't know you, so they're not going to buy right away. So even if you deal with a video sales letter, a lot of times you have to get them on your list. You have to warm them up. You have to build a relationship with them, right? So that's why we are essentially creating teaser videos. You can achieve this process even better by creating a teaser video. You see, like I said, times are changing more and more people are becoming skeptical. So it's harder to actually sell them. So you would need a full blown video sales letter to do that. But like I said, even that you may not convert everybody, especially if they are cold traffic or cold traffic by what I mean by that is people that don't know you. So that's what you would need to build a teaser video for to have people sign up on your list first, and then you would warm them up via the list to get them to buy. So essentially your funnel should look like this. You should have step one, you should have the teaser video. The goal of the teaser video is to get them interested, get them excited, get them to click, get them to watch really quickly, show the highlights, show essentially a sneak peek of their problem and how you can solve that really, really quick. And it just gets them curious. So that's the most powerful emotion that you want to invoke in step number one. 
And of course, that brings us to step number two. You get them interested enough that they want to sign up on your list to get whatever that you are offering. So in the teaser video, obviously, you do want to say, hey, you'll get something or um, the something could be the video course. It doesn't necessarily have to be the lead magnet. We've done testing in that realm before in where we get people to sign up just to view the video sales letter and that works as well. As long as the video sales letter kind of shows or solves whatever problem, that's the point. You get people to sign up on your list and at this moment, they still don't know you and they still need to be warmed up, right? So that's why in step number three, you build a relationship via the autoresponder email service. So what I mean by that is they sign up on your list and then you email them maybe every day for the next seven to 14 days. And psychologically, we have seen that most of the time it takes anywhere from seven to 12 times or seven to 12 emails or days, whatever you want to do in order for the prospect to really warm up to you. And in that time, you just want to give them really good content to bring them from a perspective of they don't know you to, oh, I really trust you to, oh, I really trust you enough to want to buy your product. So the teaser video, as you can see, it's, it's not really there to sell. It's selling a little bit in order to get people on the list, but it kind of takes away that burden. So a lot of times when you create a full blown video sales letter or even a sales letter, you have this overwhelm and you feel this burden to sell. But with the teaser video, it takes that burden off and it allows you to want to feel motivated enough to get it done and you will be able to get it done at a faster pace as you will see in this course. And of course, step number four is to get them to buy. So after you've built that relationship, they're more likely to buy at that given moment. So of course, in this video course, we are going to primarily focus on step number one, which is creating that particular teaser video, getting them on your email list. All that requires you to do is to get a email autoresponder service. And there are hundreds out there and all you need to do is build a landing page and all that. And that might be a video for a different day, but we really want to hone in on the teaser video because that's step one. And that's the most important part of the piece of the puzzle. And of course of this funnel. So let's discuss what that looks like. So we got a teaser video. The teaser video is going to be much shorter in size. So that's good for you. It's not going to be the full blown video sales letter. That's going to take, you know, a few weeks or even a month to do. It's much faster to create. And the goal here is merely to create curiosity. Now, if you wonder what that looks like, we'll talk about that in the future video. So don't worry about that right now. We're just discussing what a teaser video is. Now, I really want to take a brief moment here and talk briefly about the emotion of curiosity. So that's what kind of envelops the teaser video is curiosity, getting people interested enough to sign up on your email list. Now, why curiosity? Why not other emotion? Curiosity is one of the most powerful emotions that you can invoke, especially if somebody does not know you and you're dealing with cold traffic. If you're dealing with people that already know you, then you might want to just send them directly to the email list or a video sales letter. So the teaser video really is going to talk about kind of the highlights of what you're about to offer and the problems that they face and how you're going to solve that. So this idea comes from movie trailers. If you can think about how movies are sold, it's merely a movie trailer, which is a teaser video. So this idea comes from movie trailers. If you can imagine you're about to go watch a movie, you're really excited about the movie, but you don't know exactly what's in the movie. So you've got a movie trailer. So if you think about that, it's not a full blown video sales letter. 
Really, it comes down to snippets and highlights and all that that are in the movie that really make it or break it. So sometimes you'll watch a trailer and you'll think, eh, that, that doesn't look that great. And you'll judge the movie based on that trailer. So essentially what that is, it, it's very similar to a teaser video. It gets you excited or it gets you angry or it gets you upset or disappointed. And you're like, well, I'll just watch it anyways. And you end up finding that the movie is way better than the trailer. Or you find out that the movie is horrible and the movie trailer was really the best thing that you saw. But that's really what it comes down to is it's very similar to a movie trailer. And you can also see this in action in the form of short written pay-per-click ads. Believe it or not, uh, pay-per-click ads are a really good example of curiosity because they have to be short, they have to be concise enough to get the click. And that's essentially what you're trying to do is not get the click, but get the click over to get people to sign up on your email list. So getting the email list sign up is essentially the goal. So with the teaser video, the goal is to be short and sweet, but get somebody to sign up on your email list. So what I'm trying to get at today is you don't have to worry about getting the sale when you create a teaser video because getting the sale is all about warming the prospect up via the autoresponder email service. So that's at a later date. So today, simply focus on the teaser video, how you can get people curious about buying the video course that you're about to sell. One reason for overwhelm and the burden of not being able to get things done is just thinking about way too many things. And that's why I have broken things up to focus on the teaser video first, and then you focus on selling later. So hopefully that will help you in your journey. So now that you understand what a teaser video is and how that differs from a full blown video sales letter, let's move on to video number three.